Hi, my name is Cynthia Wakio, the Communication and Events Manager at Corporate Staffing Services, and today we're going to be looking at the tips to consider when writing an eight years friendly CV. I'm joined by Mary, who is going to expound on this topic. Welcome, Mary, to the session. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, in this era, we're in 22, headed to 2023, mm -hmm. how common is eight years when it comes to the recruitment process? Well, I like the, the way you use the word in this era. Technology is really coming in handy and it is affecting to a bigger percentage the way uh, we do things nowadays. And of course, even in the workspace, when it comes to job applications and um, recruitment process, it is equally coming in, in handy because most employers or organizations or companies nowadays use a lot of ATS system, that is the applicant tracking system, to filter the right candidates that they would want to shortlist for the interview. So it is something that candidates or professionals outside there who are uh, sending out their applications really need to put into consideration. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and ATS stands for? Applicant tracking system. All right. <laughs> so yeah. give us some tips to consider when you're writing one. Well, when you're writing your CV, working on your CV to ensure that your, t your CV is eight years compliant, number one is to focus on the job description. And when you're focusing on the job description, there are specific keywords that have been used in that job description that is very important for you to ensure that uh, those words are featuring in your CV. So when you, we normally say you tailor your CV to match the job description. Now, when you're tailoring it to match the job description, put your main focus on the right keywords that have been used in that job description. What are some of the hard skills that have really come out strongly in the job description and ensure that the exact same word is what you use or rather you include in your CV. Either it can appear under the key skills and competence section, or most importantly, under the work history section. Now, when it comes to even the work history section, another tip for a candidate to ensure that their CV is eight years compliant is to ensure that um, the work history section, the information is flowing in a chronological order. What we mean by that is that sometimes you find candidates uh, start with uh, their very first job. Uh, for example, where they first went for attachment or internship until where they are most currently working, that is the thing that they comes at last. Now, employers mainly focus on the first, most two recent positions you've held to test whether you are a good fit for the next role. And that is how the applicant tracking system has been automated to, to operate. So even under work history, ensure you start with the most recent position you've held in that order. Another tip to ensure that your CV is eight years compliant is when it comes to the design or even formatting of your CV. Eight years um, to some extent does not recognize images. Um, um, we have images, we have tables, we have pictures. So ensure that your CV is in a very simple format, readable. If possible, it has only plain text. That increases um, its chances of, uh, whenever it is passed through the ATS system, the ATS is able to pick very fast the keywords that it is looking for. That is equally um, very important for when someone is working on their CV to ensure that in, just in case the employer is using an ATS system, then my CV is ATS compliant. Yeah. yeah. But also that does not mean that you now take the job description and now copy on your CV, even if you're tailoring it. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, when, when it comes to tailoring it, picking the right keywords, there are specific keywords, if you read through that job description, that have been rep repetitive. Mm -hmm. And then you can also look at it from the point of uh, ask yourself what are what are some of the key qualities that a candidate is required to have for them to succeed on this role. If you search it in that perspective, you will realize that those key qualities, they are key terminologies that are used to describe them. And those are the things that have been automated in the system so that when your CV is passed through, it, it picks up those key keywords. 
if the JD is looking for a specific knowledge on maybe use of a certain application or software, yeah. ensure that that is done. Another important tip um, to ensure that your CV is ATS compliant, I see candidates use a lot of um, abbreviation in their CVs and um, the ATS system has been automated not to pick the abbreviations, the, the wordings in full. So for example, at, here at Corporate Staffing Services, we love using the word CSS instead of just mentioning it in full, while the system has been automated to pick the words as it is in full. So as a candidate, ensure you minimize on the abbreviations. If you have to use an abbreviation, then use the word, write the word as it is in full, then put the abbreviation in parentheses so, because, so that either way, the system will still be able to pick what they are looking for. Yeah. You can also focus on, if you, when you're understanding the employer, doing your background research on the employer, there are some specific keywords or phrases that that organization or that company identify with. So also ensure that you pick those keywords or phrases as per the organization because sometimes they also tailor, uh, automate the system to pick those key phrases that they are used to as an organization. Yeah. yeah. And do you have any final word on this topic, the pattern words? Yeah. Well, a uh, final word on this topic, what I can say, like I, the way I started earlier is that um, the job market is very competitive and uh, the truth is that Companies receive thousands of applications just for a single advert. And that means uh, for them to be able to cut on cost by all means and save their time when it comes to the screening of profiles and shortlisting, mm -hmm. most of them have really preferred to use the ATS system. Because the ATS system, out of 100% CVs that, have pa that are passed through the system, 75% really doesn't get to reach the hiring manager's desk. Yeah. So for you as a candidate to ensure that your CV passes through the system, which is more of robotic to an actual human hand, for you to be shortlisted for that interview, ensure that you work on the tips that we have talked about so that your CV becomes ATS compliant. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing those tips with someone out there. It may be you know, helpful in their next application. Great, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a problem coming up with an ATS uh, compliant CV, we offer professional CV writing services and all you need to do is click on the link below and our client service manager will reach out to take you to the next step. See you in the next video.